Welcome to the Mischief, I'm Valen, and this is Subtech Ages, Stage 3, or Age 3 at least. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, we are continuing on where we left off from before. Let me, uh, just, oh, I just switched those up improperly. There we go. I want to put my uh, trumpet away, or my my doot machine. So I've got some plans real brief before I go into the between lands. You probably noticed in my inventory, I've got some, some lapis going on. It's because I'm going to be adding a few things. One, a little bit of haste on my short bow, I don't think is going to hurt. Uh, it, I've got enough in here for, I believe, two levels. Yep. Which is going to reduce it down pretty good on the draw speed, I think. What is the draw speed now? 0.5. Yeah, it's going to be such a minor amount, but there's not really much else you can do with a bow. Uh, so that's pretty much what I'm doing at this point, but I do have other options and that is to add uh, at least one level of uh, Looting to these things. I, I as I understand it by adding whoops uh, Some kind of levels of uh, looting to this it pretty much should um, Add more as you go and I figure you know what I might as well do some looting and add it onto these things and then let them graduate by themselves. That's just one modifier's worth. I don't need to add any more than that uh, if they continue to grow. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm going to go with my standard armor that I've got here, uh, the Phantom Helm Plate and Naga Scale Leggings, plus my Slime Boots, which should help me. Uh, and then I'm just going to uh, head up to, there we go, the Between Lands portal. So I'll see you guys on the other side. Oh, already... Before I even got there, I'm seeing some new items, like Platinum. Oh, that's very encouraging. All right, so before I get too carried away with Stage 3 stuff, well, let's just go through here and get this going. All right, so looking at my map, now that I'm here, I see that there's a tower and a white fortress. I can't actually remember if I uh, finished or even started going up the tower, which could have some really good loot in it. Uh, so I figure that's also going to be a good test of how uh, my armor and weapons are going to fare. And then we can move on to the White Fortress. So uh, if I've already defeated it, then it won't be much of anything to worry about. I'm not sure how good the Impulsion Wand is going to do over here. Let's, let's take a look. I want to aim in the right direction. Is it this way? Yeah, I think it is. All right, so now I just use my impulsion wand. Let's see how good this thing works. Seems to work all right. Items are um, uh, are currently, you know, it, it recharges quickly because I've got mostly open sky. So I could, you know, slingshot myself. I might actually get that on my hotbar as well. Uh, but for now, I think I'm going to try using my impulsion wand and just see how good this is. Aha, the tower. All right, so I know that I'm not too far from it at this point, and so far it seems that uh, this this has uh, been working really easily. Yeah, it slingshots me really nice. Oh, I just made the advancement for this. So yeah, I don't think I've even been here yet. Um, all right, and actually, hello, dragonfly. You will you drop me? Thank you. So six dragonfly. Went oh, that's because I've got l luck on here. Nice. Okay, let's get rid of that. I don't need the angler meat at this point. But uh, for those that are unfamiliar with this, it's rather dangerous, fraught with peril. I see some mushroom people out there. Those those are part of the achievements out there. Uh, but yeah, we're going to want to try and, and, and get in here and not die. So uh, let's switch this out for a light because I think lights are going to be very important at this point. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, everything's protected in here. So, oops. And I think, um, oh, things are attacking me and just dying, which I'm all right with that. Um, <laughs> just be aware that not everything needs to be picked up in here to start with. Uh, if you can't reach it or get to it, don't do it uh, because you can't get the drops uh, if you uh, try and do that. Uh, like like uh, if something's behind there. Actually, I bet you I'll find one. Uh, for now, I can just grab these regular drops. Ah, perfect. This is what I was looking for. Back here. I can't get back here right and uh this is actually how this is designed so just come back and get these later because if you break them now they might despawn by the time uh you go through here i'm hearing a lot of chiramas up above and let's just see about oh can i not or can i i, c I can't seem to break that that's encouraging um 
Yeah, let's see what we can find. Maybe there's some stuff down below that needs to be uh, tended to first. Yeah, there is a down below. I forgot. The, the tower actually goes up above. There we go, and question marks. Oh, those are good. Item scrolls might give me uh, random things. But first, let's destroy this here. Add a little bit of light to the uh, area. And then that might have allowed us to uh, potentially go a little further. Sometimes you need to break things. Yep, there we go. The ceiling is now broken away, and now I can actually get further. So by breaking the spawners, it allows you to further progress. Oh my gosh, there are so many of these guys in here. Ow, ow. Yeah, you just all need to die and go away. Let's just break the spawner quick. Turn on a light. Get some lights going. And then we're going to end up fighting some mummies. Uh, which, actually, now that I think about it, I need to switch this out for my weapons bag because it's going to have a hag hacker on it. Reason being is that I think this is part of a, uh, one of the um, abilities here, or the, the advancements. There we go. Yep, it one-shots hags, which is always a good thing. You don't you don't really need that. Uh, sludge slicer. I don't think we're going to run into any sludges, but a critter cruncher. That that's those little guys that we have already been fighting. Probably should have had that out earlier. Oh well. What you gonna do, right? So let's just continue going up, fighting and killing more of these monster spawners, getting all the loot in the process. And there we go, you can hear that the next level area just opened up uh, because I broke that spawner. Hello! Get out of here, and I can I can already hear the next enemy. Which, hey, no! Got him, got him, haha, -ha, I got the achievement. There's another one. Let's just smack these guys. The, the problem is though is that uh, these will also degrade, uh, same as just about most other tools around here, but my, my tools and weapons are pretty OP at this point. So I don't think I really need to use them, except for those achievements. So I'm just going to put that away as well, and should be able to move on. Now I think we're going to be fighting some of these little druidy looking guys. Hello, Pyrads. That's them. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. Hi. Stop it. And I, the, here's the problem. You can't put the uh, you can't put the fire out <laughs> because it's uh, protected blocks. So the best bet is to just kind of hit one or two of them, lure them down, and then try and shoot them. Which I should have had my bow in a better spot here. In fact, I probably should have some food as well because I'm burning. They're very resistant to uh, all sorts of damage, though, so they're a little more than just one hit to take out. That one's going down. Ow. Stop it. No. You need to stop. Let's just break the spawner. Okay, because another one just came in. Stop, stop. Die already. Okay, yeah, I'm just standing in fire. That's not good. Thankfully, the fire will actually disappear over time, so you don't need to worry about it just like staying there forever. And look at all the goodies. Lots of drops. Ooh, got a little bit more Valonite. Not that I'll be using it anytime soon, but it's always good to know that it's there. All right, and I can see that we are about to come out in the open to a large stormy area. So let's uh, let's try this out, see if I can, can I pick up all this stuff? Yeah, I've got my own arrows just laying around everywhere. It's gonna be the thing with this uh, steel leaf stuff going on. Oh, and I wanna make sure that I keep my um, balls of sap going here. Did I get a white killer tool of any kind? No, I didn't. Well, I guess that achievement is gonna have to wait for another day, but we are still making progress nonetheless. Oh wow, I got really lucky. All right, so whites, if you sneak, uh, then they usually won't attack you. So that will allow you to position yourself if you really want to get very close to them. And then you can attack and let them kill themselves on your shield as they might normally. <laughs> 
There we go, and the next area just opened up, and usually at the top of these is a mixture of a whole bunch of spawners. Get out of here, you. I like my nightly pickaxe. It's pickaxe, it's pretty good. Gosh, the thunder and rain outside. It's not very encouraging. Let, let's get a little bit of light. Get, you know, get out of here. I, I want to put some light up. Now, there's usually a lot of guys up at the top, and getting to these oof, spawners is not going to be easy because you've got a bunch of them around. And, of course, the whites are going to want to coordinate with some of the others to get this to happen. Thankfully, I've got Iron Wall, which allows me to uh, not get affected by knock knockback, which means that I can then mine up any of these issues like this. There we go. Get out of here. Shoot. There we go. How the cookie crumbles. Now here's the thing. The tower is going to start crumbling. Uh, kind of. You can still get the goodies. It, that's not a problem. But uh, you're going to want to be very aware of everything that you have uh, need for. Let's get rid of this crappy food. We don't need broken old wasted food. And actually you might be able to get some uh, some decent fruit in here, like jam donuts. 4.3% on both fruit and grain. I mean, that's really good. Oh, oh, oh boy, I, and I'm full on this. Uh, let's see, what do I want to get rid of? I've got a wooden bowl in my inventory. Let's take that, okay? And as soon as you hit that downstairs uh, stairway, that's when everything is going to start going wrong. Uh, so, best bet is often to uh, avoid damage. Jump off the top of the tower. Um, if you've got slime boots, if, like this. Uh, but if you don't, um, then you pretty much have to uh, face the tower normally. Which, in this case, let's turn this off or else I'm never getting down these stairways. And here's the thing, there's a lot of uh, blocks breaking, uh, crumbling, going on. Uh, the tower itself won't actually crumble, but you will probably take some damage from the uh, the blocks that are falling in the process. And I'm sorry for the uh, the frame rate loss in this, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit heavy with this mod pack. And I did turn things down a bit, but it, it doesn't seem to be uh, affecting things enough. Ouch, yeah, I've lost half my health already. This is not good. But once you get outside, you should be okay. There we go. Now just have a little meal, a little ball of sap, should be good and safe. <laughs> and if you want, once this thing is done with its crumbling effect, then you can go back in and get all the uh, the goodies that you may have missed. And of course, you can always harvest up some of these uh, wisps if you want to decorate your place as you so desire. Ah, uh, there we go. Not too bad for one run. Uh, in fact, I got five white hearts. Wow, that's actually really really impressive. Uh, so let's see. Oh, and the, the rain stopped. Thank goodness. Yeah, you said it, Gecko. Um, thank goodness. So let's see. Next I need to head over to the White Fortress. So I'm going to uh, kind of fling my way over there and uh, I'll see you guys once I get to that area. There we go. That's what I wanted, but he didn't drop anything. Or did I just fling him like halfway across the map? Doggone it. So remember those dragonfly wings that I was uh, grabbing earlier? This is why you really want to try and use them. Harlequin toads. If you're lucky, you give them some. Yeah, it, it takes a lot. It, it usually will take a half stack or more uh, to convince them to become basically your swampy horse. Um, the, but except they are really good on water. So they're a really nice mount. Uh, I do highly recommend it. They also will attack enemies that are attacking you. So that's something of note. But uh, I'm heading back to the portal. Reason being, remember that really nice protection uh, mending helmet that I had that was a phantom helmet? Yeah, guess what broke in the uh, tower when uh, my head was being collapsed upon? Yeah, so I'm going to go make myself a new helmet. So I was thinking, since I'm going to be making myself a new helmet, I might as well use some of the new Stage 3 stuff. In other words, um, the uh, armor sta uh, armor station, the uh, Constructs Armory. So 
Just put that down here. And this should allow me to actually make some other items. Let's put in, ooh, shoot. I need to make a stencil first for, looks like a helmet base. Now this is just the core for it. We can put that in there. We're also gonna need trim uh, as well as this. Oh wait, this is trim. What's this one? That's plates. Trim and plates for just about every uh, armor piece that we want. I might as well just do the rest of them for now. Um, I don't know if it'll actually be necessary at this point, but there we go. So do I have the helmet? Yeah, it's in there. So now we go over here to the helmet section. Um, actually, I forgot. I do need to actually create it. So let's choose the helmet. I was thinking I'd go with Prismarine for the uh, core. Grab one of these out, and that should be pretty good. Um, now right now I'm just making a helmet, remember? So that's just the start. Next we're gonna need trim and plates, which are these over here. And if you look, I've already got uh, Constructs Armory pulled up. So let me take a look and see what I might actually like. All right, so here's kind of what I'm thinking as a starter, because I don't have access to all these materials just yet without going out on a mining run, and I really don't want to do that. So I'm going to grab Skeletal, which has a pretty decent uh, modifier for it, because it doesn't have a lot of durability as it is, but uh, Aquas uh, Prismarine for the core is, is pretty decent, plus it gives that rough ability, which is kind of like a, a spiny cactus thing, so I figure that that's kind of cool. I don't also have access to any of the, um, the Twilight Forest stuff yet. I think that might be the next stage. But for now, this would be pretty good uh, just to increase the toughness a little bit. Um, plus, it's just an all-around not bad. Um, now, here's the problem, though, is that the next one is going to be the trim. And I was thinking, well, I could just toss on a piece of bronze over there, but I can't do bronze because it requires uh, it to be poured. So therefore, I'm going to have to, well, pour it. Uh, let's put this in here. I'm going to melt this up, make myself a new uh, armor trim. I put it in here, uh, cast, and then make the uh, the trim out of bronze just so that it has that extra oomph that I'm going to need. There we go. One ingot of molten bronze into this should make the part that I'm looking for. There we go. And here's the fun part is that um, I think I might be able to add in one of these gems on top of that. So what did I have on this? This was aqua gem. Green gem, green gem. So I need to add in another aqua gem to keep up with my previous stuff. That's assuming that it all works. So let's go with this, these three pieces. That's not too bad. Uh, aqua speed, which is going to let me go a little faster in water, which I already have a lot of stuff regarding water. Uh, rough, which damages attackers on contact based on durability. And skeletal makes your armor tougher and less durability, uh, or your armor lasts longer when it has less durability, which it's not too bad defense of 18.8, which is a little bit different from what you might think. Uh, so let's take a look here. I will put this here, and if I place it on, you see I have three open spots on my armor. Boop, it gives me one and a half. So there, there you go. It's If you look here, it's like 3.01 armor, 1.5 armor toughness. If I were to look at some of this uh, other magical... Oh, I don't even have any magical uh, stuff there. Do I have any... There we go. Iron Helmet is 2. Uh, my old Valenite is 3 and 2. So this one here is 3 and 1.5, but it does have those other abilities, Dense, skelet Skeletal, Rough, and Aqua Speed. So it's just shy of uh, the Valenite Helmet that I had before. So now I've got that. I don't look all glowy like before, and I have difficulty in seeing without looking up really high, but you get the idea here. Now not to worry, I will be changing uh, what that is made from. In the future uh, so that I don't uh, you know stick to something as basic as that because I still need to get like silver and uh, other materials as well so yep I will be switching things up and here we are the menacing building off in the distance the uh, oh, what was it called the white fortress yes and in fact I'm I'm hoping that I'm prepared for this. Blech, got some rotten food in my inventory. Uh, I have some uh, petals, uh, weeping blue petals in my inventory just in case because there is a, a problem with... Oh, hello. Get out of here, shallow breath. No, no, bad. Uh, so there is a, uh, not a problem. More something you need to worry about, I guess, is uh, a bit more accurate. Is the uh, 
the the idea that things that hit you in here could potentially just reduce your decay drastically. Uh, and of course, oh, what just hit me? Oh, one of those, a Chiroma. I reduced my lighting, by the way, to pretty much uh, not smooth. So there we are. We are now at the White Fortress, which there are four sides, of course, one of which is going to have oh, the entrance that I'm looking for. Maybe it's over here. It is, actually. So let's climb up here and be aware that you're going to be attacked at all times uh, by all sorts of critters, like this one here. And if you, for some reason, right-click on a pot of chance, it's possible uh, that... Oh, here, let's get out of the way. I need to break this spawner. It's possible that you can uh, put your, your weapon inside that pot <laughs> by accident. And yes, as before, I cannot actually do anything to the uh, floor in here. Ow. Oh, it's one of these guys. Get out of here. Yeah, there's a, uh, a little creature here. If you look here, um, where is it? Oh, no. Possessed block. There we go. Now, these here will spawn critters that will jump out at you. Like that. You can't hit them. can't hurt them. And every so often they will come back out, you know, when, you know, when there's uh, the chance. I think it takes them a second to reset. There we go. See, I can't, I can't hurt the guy. But if you break those blocks in the future, they will stop, uh, you know, hurting you. But for now... Oh, I guess I can. Can I? Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. So, there's one there. Oh, okay. That's much better. <laughs> Pick up all the goodies light the area because it's going to be uh, rather dark in here and there's going to be a ton of chests and loot and fun stuff laying around you might even need to use some of those uh, pebbles that um, let's eat some food uh, the angry pebbles that I just got here actually let's uh, see if I can put this somewhere on my hot bar yeah I'll put it there for now um, you could use this to clear out rooms like that or even in in the room that you're in if you want but that's a bit more dangerous oh this is a bit random where it goes isn't it <laughs> i do like the noise it makes it's a lot of fun now you do have to be careful when you go to certain levels that um you don't just kind of like uh like some of these floors might fall away i think it's on the second floor up yeah weak mossy between stone tiles so you don't have to clear out everything, but there's tons of goodies to be had. So it doesn't hurt to just run around getting everything that's in these. Because you never know when you might get one of those um, little question mark papers, the, the scrolls that have the goodies in them. Do that. There we go. Hey, there we go. An item scroll. That's just what I was looking for. Possess block. Goodbye. <laughs> and this is actually the thing that a lot of people miss, is that there is a stairway up to the next floor. Now, before I go up there... I'm still going to finish uh, looting this place because I don't know if I'm ever going to come back to this place. I might just to take some of the uh, the materials and stuff. Possessed block. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> nice try. There's another one here, isn't there? Yep. There usually is uh, one at both ends of the hallways. So there we go. And I think that that does it for the first level. But you're probably going to want to, if you can get oof stop climbing try getting downstairs which you won't be able to from here you have to go down Would you stop that you have to uh, enter in from the side here and then there's actually a bunch more chests and things to be had there oh oh a shallow breath wasn't expecting that go away so let's run around the side real quick and see if i can get in the uh the floor level entrance. These guys just keep on dying on my spikiness. It's pretty entertaining. That did not help, actually. I thought that it was over here that I could get in. Maybe there's a different side. Huh. Okay. So I guess that there's just a small door out on one of the sides here that I can go into. Hi, guys. Let's just walk in. Oh, well, that guy's actually hanging on the ceiling. That's awesome. I never get to see that happen. And let's make sure I don't need to see it again. So, <laughs> there we go. 
Add a little bit of light to the room. Let things clear up. There's going to be spawners, of course, in uh, some of these rooms as well. There's more goodies that can be had. Grab some of this. And you might think at this point, you know, the um, those amulet sockets... Let's get rid of these bricks. Uh, ...are, like, useless, but no. No, they are not, because in the future you might be able to wear more. Uh, which would be very powerful, of course. Uh, it all just depends if uh, you die or not, really. Oh, there's more goodies to be had. Die? No, no. That's not a goodie. That was a lie. And that leads back outside. I don't want to do that. Aha! These here are actually very valuable. Aspectra seeds. You can use those to grow some of the uh, items you'll need to make the Between Lands brews. Uh, though I think it recently was... Um, he, he kind of nerfed it a little bit. And you know that I'm, I'm hearing lots of mobs and stuff nearby, but I'm not really seeing any. That's because they're all below you. They're all below. So I recommend, if you haven't already, uh, to make sure that... Actually, first, let me... Yeah, he just came up from that water. That was great. Uh, that uh, you ha bring yourself a bucket or something... Well, probably a bucket because I don't think you can place any blocks in here, per se. Except for maybe light sources or torches. Get out of here. <laughs> there we go. That should help clear things out a little bit. Let's grab this. And grab my bucket, which should help out a little bit. Get out of here. There's so many of them. I put that in there. And the four corners. That should eliminate this water. Because you really, really don't want to go down into the um, that brown water that they have there. Ah, you can now see down in there. So let's let's switch this back out for this. Just to make sure that the area is somewhat clear. Now let's jump down and stay in the regular water if I can. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a few here. Okay. J just a couple. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I hit F1 just so you guys could see the sheer quantity of dudes that had uh, accumulated down here. Which I'm feeling a little bit better about now that uh, we were able to come down and clean this up. Can I get over here? You notice my, um, my, the damage I'm doing is very weakened. Uh, it's because, doggone it, this, I need, there we go, to eat one of those, because that's going to give me regen. Notice my, uh, those blue, weeping blue petals, that gives me, uh, decay regen for a while. I think, elixir of ripening, I think it is. Yeah, it just keeps going for a while. Basically, it'll replenish all of your, uh, your toolbar there if you need it. And look, we've got blocks of alanite down here. Blocks of it. Oh man, such good loot to be had. Oh. So let me just clean this out and then we'll head back up. There we go. That's a little better. I can get rid of this awful stagnant water that just totally demolishes your, uh, your hunger meter. Oh, so terrible. And now I should be able to, I don't know, hopefully jump in here without taking too much of a hit. Use the water to get back up because, as I said before, it's it's going to be difficult to actually um, whoops, to uh, get out of here. Oh, oh, that's right. We need to look for a secret room. So there's going to be a secret room around here somewhere, too. One of these walls is likely to be a fake wall. Can't remember which one it is, though. Haha! Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. I found it. Okay, it's very small. It's underneath the entryway stairs. There are some fake blocks here. All sorts of good loot in there. Oh, an explorer's hat. Look at that. Huh. Ooh, don't I look dapper. All right, that's pretty neat. <laughs> that's going in the bag. All right, so now to head up to the next floor. Yeah, that's, I should have known that that was going to happen. Possess block. Go away. All right, so... Now to move on here. Check to see... Oh, more goodies. Uh, grab everything. 
more critter crunchers. I don't really want the critter crunchers at this point. Kind of useless, but you do have to be careful where you walk because there's weak between stone tiles. If you look here, it's saying that on these. So anywhere that you walk on these is probably going to be um, bad. So let's just jump up here, walk along the side. And I, actually, I will jump down so you can see the floor tiles just drop away. And you, you have to pretty much just run in order to get through. Oh, hello. Well, that was taken care of. Uh, so this is going to be the same with pretty much all of the second floor. Uh, thankfully, there is a stair here that I'll have to come back to in the future, though. I'm just going to keep using this sidewall. Get out of here, termini term Terminite. Termite. And uh, making my way around to the rest of this stuff. Alright, so let's jump up here. Oh gosh, did I turn that? I did turn it off. Let's turn that back on. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. Lots of dudes attacking me from all sides. At least it's a good area to get uh, plenty of white hearts, you know. There's going to be spawners everywhere. Once again, this uh, iron wall enchantment on my armor is really, really kicking butt. Um, get out of here. No, I'm not even going to let you uh, hit me. Get. That's right, I can swing my sword. Now these here are spike traps. These you need to be cautious of, but you are going to have to go in here. Just remember that the spike traps rotate. So for instance, I can stand on this one, but uh, of course a Chiramaw hits me as I do that. I can stand on this one safely, but it might turn into an activated spike trap at any moment. So in the meantime though, I'm going to eliminate all these uh, spawners because I, I just don't want to have to deal with them for now. And you! Get out of here. I don't... No. No Chiramas. Got that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. A forbidden fig. That, I believe, is an... En <sighs> Get out of here. Is an enchant... Uh, one of the... <laughs> Am I even going to be able to do this? Is one of the abilities that I need to do. So let's eat this thing. Cursed are those who eat the forbidden fig. Oh, great. So now I'm, I'm, I've got blindness and weakness. That's encouraging. Wow, blindness here is terrifying. Um, so yeah, I, I believe I got, um, no, I didn't get any enchantment for that, but it, I ate it nonetheless. And now I know, but my, my weapons are still very effective nonetheless, even though I've got weakness too. Huh. Do I have mining fatigue as well? I don't know. I'm just still going to clear stuff out. Be back soon. Okay, finally it wore off. And yes, there are multiple spawners up there that are really driving me insane at this point. But look, this is the swift pick. This is the pick I have been wanting for a very long time. I got to get swifty. I got to get swifty. I'm going to have to kill every last one of those little buggers that are flying around up there. You! Get out of here. Gosh, I think that my bow would actually draw back faster. Uh, before I go, get out of here. Ah, I need to just stop these guys or else they are going to destroy my ability to uh, get through here. Oh, that's right. Get, all of you need to die. But the floor is basically going to be uh, bad stuff. So let's see what I can, I, I can reach one of these. Let's try and sneak around the other side. Killing these guys as I go. No. You need to die. Oh, no, no, no. Not falling off today, because I've, I've got... I've got Iron Wall, but... Oh, it's because I was in the air. Still, it will still... Get, no, get out of here. Let me, let me break this. Maybe these guys actually penetrate the Iron Wall enchantment. Oh, that's not how I intended on things to happen. Oh, the termite just got spiked. Okay, um... So, wasn't expecting on that. Wasn't planning on it either. Um, that would be nice if I could finish cleaning that out. I'm going to get back up there and take out that spawner. Be right back. Oh, it's much more peaceful now. That the spawners are gone. Oh, or at least those ones of those guys. They're, they're very, very annoying. Uh, so let's try seeing about getting into the next area. So I could... Get down here. Uh, this doorway looks like it's a bit barricaded. Now, I, I'm pretty sure 
that my armor and I will... Wow, even my helmet is taking a hit. Um, we'll be able to survive this. Uh, I'm still going to try and be somewhat cautious. Ow. Basically, you want to get in here and you want to destroy those, the item cages. Uh, so let's see. Can I, can I get that? No. Uh, I think I have to be standing on the glowing between stone tile in order to do so. Great. So, ow. Now can I? Yes, it just takes a while, which I might get stabbed in the process, who knows. Nearly there. There we go, and the first piece of the puzzle is in the center. So now I just need to get over there. In the meantime though, might as well just pick up some of this stuff in any of these chests. Ouch. Okay, this is not looking easy to get across. There's a lot of spikes. There's a lot of spikes. All right, let's just run for it. Over here. Over here. That wasn't too bad. Now for number two. Okay, and there is piece number two. And what is this happening? This is actually a bunch of... Ouch. Uh, a bunch of pieces of a sword forming together in the center. Once you break all of these, which actually I should be using the Swifty pick, but oh well, this this pick seems to be working. Uh, once they all form in the center, you get a super sword, uh, which yes, it is really darn cool. Let's just run across these three. Ow, 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 I only got hit twice. Okay, let's see about getting this last one. There we go. And then the center goes down. Boop. And then we get this sword, which, yes, there's still going to be spikes to navigate, sadly. So let's slide it up a little bit. Ugh. Um, all right, well, might as well eat a little food, because this is going to hurt. Uh, I'm just going to run there and through, I think. Unless I can get any last goodies out of these. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my helmet just leveled up from all the damage because I'm running around in here taking all sorts of damage trying to get the uh, the goodies Ow! from these uh, crates. Okay, phew. Let me just deposit this stuff, get myself situated, be right back. All right, so this is the sword I just got, the Shockwave Sword, which in itself, you think, all right, seven. Alan, your other sword does does that. But, but look, if I take my shield off as well, that is what this thing can do. And it has three uses of it before it needs to recharge. And then the gem on it, bing, turns red. And then you can use it for three more times. Bing, and there you go. So that's the idea behind this sword. It's a really cool sword. It's a really cool sword. And I'm actually going to get rid of those uh, but uh, for now I might just skip on it and use my other tools at hand so that I can ensure that this will work but I think I might need it in my hand in order to get to this next area here which uh, let's see about getting up here oh look another another one get out of here don't want that so I'm gonna go up here Already got into this space. I'm looking for another stair that goes up. If you just keep following around the outside, there we go. This is the stair I'm looking for. All right. And then here's the thing. <laughs> yeah, we're up pretty high right now. You can see pretty good distance. Um, this, the only sword keeper, only the sword keeper may pass this point. This should be good. Uh, so let me hold on to the sword while I do this. We're gonna walk in and then stare into this creature. Boop! This here. Beware that when fighting monsters, you yourself do not become a monster. For when you gaze long into the abyss, the abyss gazes also into you. Uh, for now, let's actually... Hmm. I'm thinking I don't want the angry pebbles. Uh, weeping blue, I think, is a good idea. Let's keep that on there. Everything's set. I just need to store my levels at this point. All right, levels have been stored. Now, I just need to stare into this eye, and it will teleport me to the Primordial Malevolence. This really awesome looking uh, thing here, which this is gonna be terrible uh, and terrifying. You need to be sure that you hit the right one of these, and uh, 
bounce it back at the malevolence. Ooh. Get out of here, you. Oh, no. It's going to be a very difficult battle because hitting these is not a good not a good thing. Maybe saying it's not a good thing is the wrong thing. In this case, let's just say it's going to be very difficult. <laughs> Ooh. Piece of candy. So, let's see. Blue? Oh, that's the problem, is that I'm going to get hit by the green orbs at the same time. It's going to make it that much more challenging. Uh, green orb, no, I need to hit the blue orb on my sword and then swing it back at the primordial malevolence. Get out of here. Which will then lower some of its shields, so then I need to do it multiple times. Those are both green. I don't want those. Ah, uh, here we go. All right. Which one's blue? Oh, I got hit by this guy. Doggone it. So tricky. So tricky. All right, let's try this with the Shockwave Sword because I wasn't having much luck before. Chopping boy? Slay an enemy with a sword. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right, let's try this without the shield now, because I've been going for quite some time. Still no results. Oh! There we go! Okay, so I guess the shield was interfering this entire time. Okay, good to know. And now I should be able to shoot it on occasion when that little tiny area spins around to face me, but I don't know that it's going to anytime soon. I saw that there was an opening, but it's, it's big difficult. Come on, give me that opening. Jerk. Alright, fine. Okay, this is much more challenging with, a, with an improper sword. Can I grab a gem? I don't have any of the proper gems in place. Alright, fair enough. Looks like I'm going to have to... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, miss. I'm gonna have to miss. Oh, got a shot in. Got a shot in. And... Oh, just on the edge. Got a shot. All right. Now we're making some progress. It's going to be slow progress, and it's in the middle of a rainstorm, but it's progress nonetheless. All right. Come here, you. Got another shot. All right. It's probably worth trying to uh, get another one of his shields to go down, but it's just a matter of trying to hit these things is not the easiest thing to do. I, I keep on going for the blue ones as well, and I, I think it's actually the green now that I uh, think about it. Which doesn't make sense because everything here is blue that he's got, but oh well. And these guys keep on spawning at the same moment that these things come at me. Yikes. Okay. Alright. Got a green one. Where is he? There he is. That actually went straight to him. I wasn't expecting that. I can't... There we go. I can actually hit him on occasion when he's like that. Come on. Come on. Oh, you jerk. This is probably one of the toughest and most challenging bosses in Minecraft that I have ever faced. <laughs> Only because it's, it is very difficult to try and cheese this. All right. So let's see if perhaps... Oh, I missed the green one. And of course, the one time... Get out of here. Haha! -ha. Got a shot. The one time that I, I do hit him, it's where the uh, the opening was. <laughs> I don't think the blue is going to do it again. I need green. Come on. Give me some of that green stuff. Actually, I wonder if I can use my... Um, Steel Leaf Broadsword, actually, to help with this since it's... No, no, that does not work. Okay, I will stick with the Shockwave Sword. Apparently that is what's going to make things a little bit easier for me, if at all. Now get out of here. Though it does make things a little bit more challenging. And this rain, oh my gosh, it is killing me here. I waited for it to not be raining, and then it started in the middle of the battle. This is ridiculous. Come on, go ahead. 
Oh, he moved. No. No, I was so comforted on that one. Oh. Not out of here. Oh, I missed the green one. Got it. There we go. Hit him again. Now come here. Oh. Got a few openings to work with now. Now I might be able to uh, peck away at him because they're on opposite sides as well. Or, well, maybe not opposite sides, but it does allow for a certain measure of damage to be taken. Oh boy, and I should probably eat some food. I keep just like devouring these petals <laughs> by accident. Come on, come on. This is going much quicker now. Get, get out of here. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, things are starting to get a little bit crazy now. This is not good. One, my frame rate has dropped considerably, and two, I'm getting just destroyed by this guy's beams. Ah! Okay, there's got to be some green shots around here somewhere, but otherwise, I'm just going to keep on shooting you until you die, hopefully. Come on. I feel like I'm playing Tron here with fighting Master Control all of a sudden. Yeah, I'm, I've decided I'm just going to take these shots because this is just, this is a bit ridiculous. Oh my gosh. There we go. <laughs> Where'd he go? There he is. Yeah, he's got the little laser beams going on underneath. Ow! Ow! Come on! Excuse me. I'm shooting here. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. Haha! -ha! Got him! And we got a ring of recruitment. No! Oh! Ah, the Ring of Ascent! Oh, thank goodness. And an amulet slot! Oh, that's really good. That's really good. Okay, they weren't kidding when they said that uh, the, the drops were increased. I'm just glad that the rain stopped as well. Man, that was really starting to, to kill me there. Uh, oof! Oof! So yeah, I think this, uh, this went a little bit longer than I had anticipated. My armor almost completely broke. I almost went through a whole nother set. Oh! I I feel I feel slightly exhausted from that. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but hey, I hope you all enjoyed. If so, be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, spread the mischief to others if you think that they'll enjoy this kind of content too. And if you want to support the mischief, check out the description below. And uh, yeah, stick around for next time, and we'll get into a whole bunch of new Age Three stuff with Journey Map.